Greetings, friends. I just wanted to comment on this 600 million Canadian dollar government bailout of Canadian lamestream media. We don't know yet where exactly the money is going to go, but it's safe to say the CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, perhaps the Toronto Star, Globe and Mail, National Post, all of these old, obsolete, corrupt, fake news media outlets which have been way behind the times for years. They, did, they neglected social media, they neglected the internet, and they still do. And the thing is, it's not just uh, a generational thing. There's young people that rely on, on the Toronto Star for their news, for CP24, which is a, our, you know, version of the the talking heads, the 24-hour uh, news coverage where you get everything dumbed down, safe. In other words, not really anything uh, at all. And, and, and you can say, well, the mainstream news, the lamestream, they're just propaganda. But of course, everyone is propaganda. I'm propaganda too. Propaganda is repeating a message. Uh, however, there's propaganda in good faith and there's propaganda in bad faith. Now, the best way to tell if someone is giving you a message in good faith is where's the money coming from? Now, I don't like to, I don't ask for any money on this channel, so that, that helps me come across as genuine. Now, you might find other things wrong with me. Oh, he's trying to corrupt you and, and to, but you know, that's gonna help me that I don't, I don't accept money. And there's nothing wrong with accepting money. Some people have to, have to do that. Um, but then again, there's other ways of demonstrating good faith. Are you consistent? Do you have principles? Do you refrain from making stuff up? It's just so infuriating that the government is taking our own money and using that to brainwash us. They can't, they're, they're not even profitable at brainwashing us. They're not even good at keeping us down. It's like our brain is growing. We're, we're, we're understanding more about what's going on in this country, about uh, all, all the sorts of stuff that's going on. We don't need to get into here. And then, but they want to clamp down on that. They, they need to, it's like the brain is glowing, so that, growing of society, so they want to bleed us more to keep the process, to, to prevent the brain from growing. We have to be bled of our own money to go to these lamestream media firms. All we know is that a, a committee of industry leaders from the media is going to get to decide where exactly the money goes. So of course the industry leaders, this is perpetuating the myth that there's some difference between them and us, the alternative media. There's no real difference. I don't need to talk about the lamestream media on this channel very often because I take it for granted that my audience knows that it's it's corrupt and there's not really much to say. I mean, I don't own a television, do you? There's really not too much to say. That's why I don't comment on it very often. And Stick, Sex and Hammer can talk about that stuff more often, uh, but it's the same message. Because of this bailout, I had to say something. The lamestream media is so bad. They are so inefficient. To go on to their, the Toronto Star, you can't, you can't access more than five articles or a certain number of articles without paying. Most of these sources you have to pay to access them online. And yet they need more money, $600 million over five years from the government just to keep charging us money if we want more than five articles. Not that those five articles are going to be good anyways. It's just, they're not even good propagandists. They, they don't even have much substance to them. Some of these mainstream uh, media papers on their websites, you can comment, but usually not. So they don't even want comments. They want to charge you to access their information. Their information sucks, so it's not even good information. Their information is boring. Their information is propaganda in bad faith, unlike general propaganda, which should be in good faith. Like, you're not trying to, you know, uh, pull, the, uh, pull the wool over the eyes of your audience, you're, you're being intellectually honest, etc. You know, they are none of those things. And then, they, they can't even accept real criticism. Yes, the National Post has some comments from Facebook, 
which is another, you know, controller of us anyway. So then you have to be on Facebook to leave a comment. And Facebook is practically just as bad. They may be getting money too, for all I know. And uh, despite all of that, there's very little way to engage with them. You never see, like, unlike many YouTube videos, sometimes a content creator will respond, but not, not, no, I've never seen that on any comment thread on a mainstream news article, even in the few cases where they could comment. Shows you how out of touch people are. Do not own a television, you should smash it, or just get rid of it. The lamestream news is constantly trying to brainwash us with our own money. This is not what should happen in a capitalist society. Let these dinosaurs go extinct. This hasn't been capitalism for a long time. This is not supposed to happen in capitalism. In capitalism, people go bankrupt all the time and you let it happen. The CBC is terrible, tired. There's nothing going for it. Uh, it's a shame that it still exists. It's a shame that the, this class of so-called journalists likes to thumb their nose at the rest of society and think that they don't, they, they're the ones who don't understand anything. They're the ones who are going down. They're never going to be able to be profitable because they have a whole newsroom, studio, paying all these people. It's like when all people care about is information and someone that can speak reasonably well to communicate it. Someone that's more genuine, not plastic, this uh, emptiness. And we get the mantras. We get. I'm, I'm saying brainwashing because you know they're all leftists. They're all giving us diversity is our strength, and and uh, just the standard leftist talking points. Because let's just say that a certain ethnic group controls the media and controls the universities. We can talk about other aspects of society, but at the very least, uh, they control that. So it's no coincidence that we get these funny leftist mantras being uh, driven down our throats by the media, by the corporations. But unfortunately, young people are still going to keep watching these uh, news channels, reading these papers. I don't know why. Some people, they just want that echo chamber to continue. They want it to keep continuing and they're willing to bleed their fellow taxpayers, if they're even paying any taxes at all, to keep it going. Hasta luego, amigos.